Okay, this is the last video in the series, and in this one, uh, we're just going to top and tail it. We're going to finish off, uh, tidy up, and that sort of thing. And all we're going to do is the well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at creating some new pages because uh, if you are using Aweber, for instance, like I am then you're going to need things like a thank you page which is where you tell people to go to their email um, so they can confirm their subscription uh, you need an already subscribed page and you need a uh, the page where you're delivering the goods so to speak so with uh, my WordPress landing page which you're on uh, you would have been sent to once you've actually um, clicked on uh, your email to confirm your subscription you would have been then been sent to a page which is your deliverable page your delivery page your download page and this is where you're actually giving people what they want so and what you've taken off that page of mine is the zip file for this theme and you can then access the video i.e. this video and the 27 minute video that we did previously because I'm going to keep that on um, so that's the deliverable that I'm giving you. So it's, so it's a free WordPress landing page theme and the 27 minute video tutorial. It's actually going to be five videos or six videos now because uh, we've updated. So that's what you got. You've got a deliverable page, which I've just spoken about. You've got a thank you page, which is where you tell people to go to their email to confirm their subscription and an already subscribed page. You'll also want something uh, if you're going to do this type of thing. You're also going to need some uh, privacy pages and uh, maybe terms and conditions of the site and that sort of thing. And that all happens in the footer. And that all happens down here. So we're going to put something in there. I'm going to show you how to do that in two seconds. Uh, what we're going to do first is we're just going to create a page. Um, now, again, with WordPress it's really, really simple. Just go to uh, Pages, go to Add New. And what we're going to do, we're going to, I'm going to add a privacy policy. Uh, now, you're, you, as I said, with Aweber, you're going to have to do a thank you page and a deliverable page, but I'll leave that to you to do. Uh, you can use this theme. Uh, it's very, very simple. But uh, I'm just going to show you the privacy policy. When I do a privacy policy, then I'm going to put that privacy policy into the footer. So this is creating a new page, and we're going to do the, uh, the footer. So if I just do privacy policy here... in here. Now I've got one already written uh, as I do. I keep a lot of this stuff because it's all pretty much of a muchness privacy policies. It all says exactly the same thing. The only thing we have to do is change a few things for different um, sectors, different sites and that sort of thing. So I'm just going to copy the whole page. Uh, so that's copied all the way down to the bottom. Copy that. Yeah, I'm just going to put that to one side. And while I'm in HTML, I'm going to paste that in. So here's all my text for that. Now I'm going to go to Visual. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the H4 uh, for this top bit. And I'm going to center it. And I'm going to just bold each of these, high, these uh, headings down here because that would just make it look a little bit nicer so as you can see I'm just doing control B to uh, shortcut the uh, emboldening of the head of each one of these a bit fiddly but you know it will make it look fantastic so now we've got a centered header um, I'll just put that in bold as well and I'm just going to publish that and just see what it looks like. View the page. Click okay, there, see so yeah, it. We've got a we've got a privacy policy and it's a complete page. So uh, I don't want leave a reply on there. So that's the first thing we're going to change. We go back in. It is blogging software, but uh, it's also one of the most sophisticated content management systems uh, around that you can use. So it's really worth getting to know how to use WordPress well. Uh, so we just update that. Uh, go back into the site, just make sure that looks that looks good. Yeah, that looks fantastic. 
Uh, it's exactly what we want. It's very, very clear to read. Um, I love this look and feel. So that's what we do now. It's actually got uh, a URL at the top there, so we're going to copy that. So let's control C to copy that. And I'm just going to put that into my codes page. So I've got it. So I'll just put that there for now. So I know what that, what page that is. Again, it's just a case of uh, keeping a tab on things and uh, making sure it's all okay. So now I'm going to go into footer uh, in appearance. We're going to go into footer. Uh, now this is what's in there already. Now there's nothing uh, showing in there, but uh, I've actually got uh, one here. If we can put this privacy policy, which I took, which I've still got copied. Now, where it's got the hashes here, uh, it's got a privacy statement here. So, where it's got the hashes there, we want to put it in between these two little uh, signs there. So, we just do Control V, and that puts it in. Now, what will happen is that now you'll see everything in there. Now, we've actually put something in there. I'm just going to take all these out to start with. And there's a break in here, so this is this copyright is going to go underneath. And if I just save changes and we look at the footer now in the page, you'll see that it's actually got a privacy policy in there. There's a privacy statement, and all you do is when you click on that, it goes to the privacy policy for that page, and that's really all you do. All, all, all that you do now is you just add any other things at the bottom here. You could go back to a certain page or um, you can go to an external site if you wanted to, but this is where you'd, you'd put any footer stuff in there. So it could be terms and conditions, that sort of thing. 